Kia ora. Maureen Pugh. Okay. Uh, my pleasure tonight to stand up as a member of the Justice and Electoral Select Committee to welcome the Arbitration Amendment Bill into the House in its first reading here tonight. I do look forward, as my colleagues have said, to uh, further scrutiny of this bill in the committee stage. And uh, being not of a legal background, um, I too look forward to the input of our Law Society colleagues, um, the QCs, and uh, mostly of our advisers to the committee, because we will be relying on their expertise to guide us through this process. I uh, acknowledge my colleague, uh, Paul Foster Bell, um, bringing this member's bill to the House and congratulate him on having it drawn from the ballot. Uh, Mr Speaker, the bill um, is, is uh, an alternative to uh, dispute resolution. And uh, as we've heard tonight, there is quite a lot of focus placed on the issue of confidentiality. And this bill introduces the presumption of confidentiality. And it is also um, vital to know for the people involved in these dispute resolutions that the arbitration process cannot be used as a lever or a form of blackmail even um, to take uh, cases further into the court system where the confidentiality is lost and therefore intellectual property um, and uh, private business information can become public in that forum. And that can have a devastating effect on a business, particularly if it is publicly listed and its share price can be affected, uh, deals can be cancelled, and that can be irrespective, sir, of the substance of the um, dispute. There is another um, aspect to this bill, and it is that those arbitration decisions are more enforceable. Um, the bill also allows for this um, process, because it is more timely, it frees up our court system. And of course, when that uh, saves time in the court system, that in turn saves money for everyone involved. And we need this process so that it ha uh, uh, and confidentiality so that people approach it in a spirit of good faith, sir. There is also a strengthening in this bill of the enforceability of awards. Uh, at the moment, courts can be reluctant to enforce um, the awards if there are slight procedural um, matters that may not have been dealt to as well as they could be. And so having a strengthening of that aspect is also beneficial to all parties involved. So one of the uh, more important aspects of this bill is that it brings us into line with uh, international arbitration and the procedures used. And for us as a trading nation, this is, is particularly helpful to us uh, because we are known throughout the world as an honest and a respectful country to do trade with. And in order to maintain that reputation internationally, uh, adjustments to our legal framework and the Arbitration Act of 1996 is one that I'm referring to, are just a procedurally and make good sense in bringing us into line with the rest of the world, we want to maintain that respected and honest reputation with our trading partners. So, sir, um, I have great pleasure in supporting this bill, as do uh, most of my colleagues here in the House tonight, and I have pleasure in commending it to the House. Thank you. Paul Foster Bell in reply. Thank you, uh, 